Hey guys, um, so what I'm going to show you in this video is how to extract from a RAW file using Python. So it's something that I was having a lot of trouble with on how to do this, but I managed to find a solution and yeah, so I'm basically here to show it. So first we're just going to set up our environment. So I'm using Atom at the moment, but um, what we need to do is just get a folder and create a new folder within it. So I'm going to call this folder on RAW test. Okay. Then within that folder, I'm going to create a new Python file. So on raw underscore test dot py. Okay. Cool. This is where our code is going to be. So now I'm going to go to that file in the Explorer and I'm going to add a new text document. So a text document, I'm going to call it test one. And let's just put it something in there. So it worked. Okay, so that will tell us it worked. And now what we're going to do, so you should have um, WinRAR installed on your PC. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add it to our archive. And I'm going to create a password around it. So encrypt file names. And the password is 1234test. So that's the password I'm going to create for this file. Click on OK and OK. And then here's our archive folder. So just double click on it and check. It needs a password. Cool. So let's just save that down. So password equals my password is two, three, four. Just a reference for us so we know, so we don't forget. Okay. And then let's just rename this to test one original. Original. Cool. So that when we extract from here, we can see the difference between the two and know that it's the file that we extracted. Okay, so now for the code, it's from on raw import raw file. Okay, and we need to import that. We need to um, install that. So pip install on. Okay, so that's installed. Okay, and then we're going to write our code. So test underscore path. So this is our path to. Um, the raw file. So we're going to shift, right click, copy as path, and then put the raw string and paste it in here. And then extract underscore path. So once we've extracted from this file, this is the path that it's going to be extracted to. So again, the raw string, and we're just going to remove the file just so we have the folder itself. Okay. Now files, this is going to contain the file names, the files within the raw file, and then with raw file dot raw file, file name is the test path, read only, and the password is going to be, let's just call it test for now, as RF. So this is our context manager, which will handle like the context of the file that we're opening. So we don't actually need to physically close the file. It will be handled within this with block. With statement. So now files, so our files here is going to be equal to rf.name list. So this is the name of this folder. It's a list of all the files, file names. And then rf.extract all. It's going to be extracted to right, the destination is the extract path here. Yeah. And lastly, this is just to read it in. Uh, yeah. So for file in files, the path underscore to the file is equal to this f string and a row string. It's going to be equal to extract underscore path backspace and apologies our file name so it's going to be like our file name backslash the file itself okay and then with our context manager so with open file r as f data is equal to f dot read lines. So just gonna quickly read this file, and then for each line in data, the 
line is equal to line dot strip. We're just going to strip of any. Uh, we're going to strip it of any white space. Extra lines. Uh, extra lines. We're going to print the line. Okay. So now let's run this. Okay. And this is the error that I kept getting when I first tried it. So it couldn't find a path to the under raw library. Now the solution for it is to go to raw labs website. So rawlab.com, go to extras, go to omra.dll, and then click on it. Cool. And then we're going to save it. So it's executable. I've done it already, as you can see. Just close that. Now let's go to the place where it was stored and double click on it. Cool, and this is the location it's going to be um, installed more safe in. So we're going to, yeah, sorry. So we're going to install that. Yes. And then I already have it installed, so I'm just going to say yes to all. Cool, and here's the location. So now, if you're using the 32 bit um, computer, this will be the environment variable that you're going to reference. If you're using 64 bit like myself, you're actually going to be referencing this DLL. Okay, so now that we have it installed, what we need to do is go to our environment variables, system, environment variables here, and then click on new. So user, var user variables for them will be your name. It's then new. So the variable name is going to be all capitals, un ra underscore lib underscore path. Then the, var the variable value is we're going to browse the file. Now, like I said, if you're using 32-bit, you're going to be using this file here, DLL. And if you're in 64-bit, you're going to be using this one here. So reference it, click on OK, and OK again, then OK again, then close the text editor that you was using or IDE, whichever, and then just restart it. Okay, now if I run that code, it should work. Okay, perfect. So now it says bad password for archive. So that means it's actually it's actually working now. We can locate the UNRA. And basically what UNRA is, it's, um, it's like a decompress. So it's to decompress your compressed files, which is what the archiving is. I'm going to actually do, I'm going to just name this as the test. So one, two, three, four, then run it again. And it should have ran our file. So first things first, if I go to here, you can see it's actually extracted what was in the file and it should have read it worked. Let's print the line. Okay, so maybe there's an issue with the path. Let's print that. Path underscore two underscore file. Uh, sorry, this should actually be path underscore two underscore file. Okay, and there we go, it worked. So let's just do. worked. Okay, and that's how you would extract files from, um, well, RAW using, that's how you, this is how you would extract RAW files using Python. So yeah, that's everything pretty much. So the main, the most important part is having this DLL, the 64-bit or the 32-bit, depending on your PC, and then making sure you reference that in your environment variables. So hopefully that saved you guys time, and that is all for now. Uh, take care.